Hello and welcome everyone to anubhavtrainings.com. In this video series, we are discussing about Analytics Designer as part of SAP Analytics Cloud Training. In this video, we will go ahead and learn about how to do dynamic dimension change in the chart on selection of a table row. So this is a pure dynamic scripted scenario where I would like to change my dimension filters into the chart depending on my selection in the table. So as you remember, in the last session, we went ahead and we have added a, a column chart, which is what showing the country specific change in the profit. Now what I wanted to do is whenever user is selecting a particular row, which is basically a particular country record into my row, then based on this country, for example, it is US for the selected country, I would like to change the value in my chart below. So my automatic dimension should get changed when it comes to the chart. So this is what I wanted to achieve dynamically. So the event which we will be using for this is on select event. So whenever the selection changes into my table, I would like to change the dimension here in the chart to see only for that particular country, the data into the chart. So let us go ahead and achieve this as part of analytics cloud. So now I will go back, switch over to the system and over here for the table control, we will apply an event. So let's go ahead and apply an event on select. And on selection of it, we would like to know what is that value user has selected. So I'll say var my selection object equals to my table. So let me increase the font size a little. So we will use our table control. tab profit dot get selected item and I'm only interested in first selection and now we will use our chart object at runtime and we will set get the data source for the chart and on that data source we will set the dimension so we will change the dimension at runtime for this given chart so set dimension filter and of course, my dimension here is the country dimension I would like to change. And the value which I would like to apply here is my value which is coming from my table selection. So the first item of that is what I will be using. So let me put bracket and of course pass the country dimension to get the values of the country at runtime, which is what is selected by user. I will save this. Let's switch back to the application under test and let's re-execute our application on the UI. So now at the moment you can see it's showing data for all the countries and now at the bottom I can see my chart. So let me go ahead and select one particular country for example US and voila you can see the value is automatically getting updated only for US in my below chart. So this is a kind of a drill down scenario which you can achieve with the help of this and now when you change the value of your tax you can see the impact of that on that particular country which has been selected. So you can see the change of tax. What is the impact of it on a particular selected country? So you can always see this um, kind of scenario with SAP Analytics Cloud. So all these kind of custom scenarios are pretty much possible, typically as far as Analytics Cloud application designer is concerned. So I hope you enjoyed this video with the scripting API. And thanks for watching for entire training on SAP Analytics Cloud and Analytic Designer. Feel free to subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com and I will see you in the next video.